A couple of months ago, we released a 2024 update video for the most competitive medical specialties. Now, it's time to break down the least competitive. Dr. Jubal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. Using brand new data from the official NRMP charting outcomes released this year, we meticulously reassessed the most and least competitive specialties. Our competitiveness index considers a wide selection of data points, including USMLE step scores, match rate, publications, NIH funding, and more. You can download our full analysis of more than 20 specialties and play with the data yourself. Link in the description. Since the release of our most competitive specialties video, we had to make a few updates. Though the NRMP included USMLE Step 1 scores in their data, this was only for the 13.3% of applicants who had taken Step 1 prior to January 26, 2022. For the vast majority of residency applicants, their Step 1 score was already pass-fail, and therefore, no numeric score was available to programs. For this reason, we removed Step 1 entirely and increased the weight of Step 2 scores, which residency programs now place much more importance on. To offset the removal of Step 1, other factors, such as match rate and publication items, were also adjusted to better reflect the current landscape. Note that after making this adjustment, the top 5 most competitive specialties remained in the same order. However, the total points for each changed, putting more distance between the top 3 specialties. In other words, more accurately factoring in the weight of Step 2 scores made the placement of the top 3 specialties more definitive. The weighted breakdowns are now as follows. Step 2 CK is rated at 30%. Match rate is 30%, research items are rated at 25%, AOA at 5%, and top 40 NIH at 10%. With that housekeeping out of the way, these are the least competitive medical specialties in 2024. In the fifth spot is pathology at 28 points. Pathology is the field of medicine concerned with the study of body tissues and body fluids. They provide tissue diagnoses after examining specimens, and they also manage all of the clinical labs ordered by other physicians. Previously, in 2022 and 2020, pathology did not place in the top 5. In 2022, it was in the 8th spot of our top 10 least competitive specialties. This shift is in part due to a low average Step 2 score that is now weighted more heavily. Pathology is tied for the 3rd lowest average Step 2 score. Additionally, pathology shifted lower in the ranks due to the average number of research items, which went slightly down from 8.5 in 2022 to 8.4 in 2020. 2024. While this is a fairly insignificant difference, what's more significant is that most other specialties saw a notable increase in the average number of research items. For example, PMNR went from 6.2 to 8.6, and child neurology went from 7.4 to 8.9 average research items. Pathologists are known for having a great lifestyle. They work about 47 hours a week and make $360,000 a year. While not always the case, money and lifestyle are often tied to how competitive a medical specialty is. Let's see if that's true for the next least competitive specialties. Next is psychiatry, which moves up from the third spot to number four with 25.2 total points. Psychiatry is focused on understanding and treating mental health disorders and psychological distress. The higher weight of step two scores is not what drew psychiatry up the list as it still sits at the second lowest score of all specialties. Research items increased for psychiatry, going from 6.2 in 2022 to 7.5 in 2024. Additionally, top 40 NIH funding continues to be higher than the top three least competitive specialties. Psychiatrists also often enjoy a healthy work-life balance. The average psychiatrist earns $333,000 and works an average of 47 hours per week. If you're having trouble deciding what specialty you want to pursue, you're not alone. Our So You Want To Be playlist takes a deep dive into the pros, cons, and training steps for every medical specialty to help you determine what's right for you. The third least competitive specialty is emergency medicine with 15 points. Emergency medicine is focused on treating patients who are acutely ill with critical healthcare needs. This includes treating acute conditions like heart attacks, also known as myocardial infarctions, stabilizing patients involved in trauma, exacerbations of chronic health conditions, and more. Emergency medicine
Johnson switches places with psychiatry due to a smaller increase in research items, going from 5.1 to 5.7, and a decreased rank for Step 2 scores, which, keep in mind, is more notable in this assessment due to its higher weight compared to prior years. Emergency medicine physicians make $398,000 a year and generally work around 46 hours per week. EM doctors do shift work and typically work 3 to 4 days a week, getting the rest of the week off. While that may seem like a solid work-life balance, shift work isn't always at the same time each day you're on and emergency medicine physicians experience some of the highest rates of burnout due to the fact they spend their day-to-day -day on the front line of healthcare, consistently dealing with high-intensity, unpredictable situations. In the second spot is pediatrics with 13.4 points. Pediatrics is the field of medicine providing care for babies, children, and adolescents from birth up to the age of 25. The position of pediatrics remains the same despite research items going from 5.6 to 6.9. What we're noticing across the board is that the research item average continues to increase for nearly every specialty, the question is just by how much. For example, dermatology, this year's most competitive specialty, saw average publications increasing from 20.9 to 27.7. As any medical student will tell you, achieving another 7 research items is no small feat, and this average increase occurred in only 2 years. Research items, consisting of publications, abstracts, and presentations, consistently play a huge role in a specialty's competitiveness as well as a candidate's ability to match into their desired program no matter how competitive it is. The Med School Insider's ultimate research course distills the tactics the fellow course creators and I use to gain over 60 research items each. Not surprisingly, adcoms loved how prolific we were and it opened doors. You'll learn to publish more in less time, build a research team around you, confidently present your work, and so much more, including advanced tactics you won't find anywhere else because we innovated them. The course includes over 75 video modules, templates, and resources, as well as an exclusive private community to help you elevate your research to the highest level. We're so confident you'll find tremendous value that it comes with a 10-day money-back guarantee. Learn more at medschoolinsiders.com forward slash research course, and for the next 30 days, use code competitive research 20 for 20% off the course and in the number one spot is family medicine with 7.3 points family medicine is the center of primary care and these physicians are the generalists of generalists unlike most specialties that focus on a single organ system disease or age range they see the full spectrum of patients from young to old healthy to unhealthy, and everything in between. The increased weight of Step 2 scores only further solidifies family medicine as the least competitive medical specialty, as it notably has the lowest average Step 2 score at 244, two full points under the second lowest, which is psychiatry with a score of 246. Family medicine physicians usually work regular 9-5 to five business hours with minimal call, if any. They earn an average annual salary of $301,000 and work an average of 53 hours per week. So what's the conclusion to all of the 2024 changes? Overall, things didn't move around as much for our least competitive specialties as they did for our most competitive. Family medicine and pediatrics remained in the number one and two spots, respectively. Emergency medicine and psychiatry swapped spots for third and fourth, and the main change was the addition of pathology in the bottom five, replacing PMNR. PMNR moved up four spots to the ninth least competitive, or the 14th most competitive, of 22 specialties. This notable jump is in large part due to an increase in research items and a relatively more competitive match rate. Unlike the most competitive specialties, there is far less of a correlation between pay and competitiveness rank for this list. While it is true that family medicine doctors and pediatricians are some of the lowest paid physicians, this is not the case for emergency medicine, pathology, or psychiatry, none of which are even in the top 10 lowest paid. It will be interesting to see how these rankings evolve in our 2026 assessment. One trend we don't see slowing down anytime soon is the increased emphasis on research items to distinguish top candidates no matter the specialty. Learn more about the Med School Insiders Ultimate Research Course at medschoolinsiders.com forward slash research course and use code competitive research 20 for 20% off.